Good morning, students. It's Ms. Rosado, and I have a surprise for you. Yep, it's a new book, and it's called I Lost My Bear. Hmm. The book is by Jules Pfeiffer. Let's see what this is about. I Lost My Bear by Jules Pfeiffer. For Charlotte. I know he's somewhere. Uh-oh, I can't find my bear. I asked my mother, did you see my bear? I can't help you now. Try to think like a detective and remember where you were playing with it last. I try to think like a detective and remember where I was playing with it last. I think I was playing with it under the bed, but I don't see it. Maybe I was playing with it last in the bookcase. Hmm, I don't see it. Was I playing with it last in the living room? It's not on the couch or behind the curtains. It's not under the chairs. I said to my father, I can't find my bear where I was playing with it last. Will you help me? And he said, You're always losing things. I want you to find it for yourself. And that will be a lesson to you to remember where you put things. So I asked my sister, Did you take my bear? Give it back. And the door says, do not disturb, keep out, this means you. And she said, I have never, never, never played with your stupid bear and I want you to stop playing with my nail polish. <gasps> what a mean sister. Nobody will help me find my bear. So I cried and nobody stopped me. So I stopped myself. But I know it's gone forever. My sister said, if you close your eyes and throw one of your other stuffed animals, may sometimes it lands in the same place. Wow, but which stuffed animal? If I throw one of my favorites, what if I lose that one too? So I better throw a stuffed animal I don't care about. But if I pick one I don't care about, it will know. And it won't want to find my lost bear. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, ink a bink a bottle of ink. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. I choose you. Oh no, my bunny rabbit. My bunny rabbit is my second favorite stuffed animal after my bear. <gasps> goodbye, 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 goodbye. I can't do it. I go to my sister. This was your idea. Could I throw one of your stuffed animals? If you lose my Hallarooney, I'll kill you. I have the best sister in the world. I closed my eyes. Look here, look there, look in my granny's chair, look in, look at, look up the water spout, look high, look low, go, go, go until you find my bear. This means you. And I threw it. Okay, let's stop for a second. Do you think he will be able to find the bear? I don't know, but let's turn the page and figure it out. And it found my lost barrette. Then it found my lost kitten. But she wasn't really lost, she was hiding. Then it found my lost magic markers. So I drew a picture of my lost bear. Then, my one last extra special, I really mean it this time, throw. It found my lost purse. And inside my purse was a bunch of other things I lost. So I played with it. 
until bedtime. When my mother said, it's time for bed. Did you find your lost bear? <gasps> oh my gosh, I forgot all about my bear. I cried because I was ashamed I forgot about my bear. I cried to my mother. I think I see a bear. Do you? Bearsy! Aren't I the best detective? Okay. This was a story that was rather funny. I enjoyed it in some parts, but I definitely would tell the mean sister not to be so mean. All right, children, that was great. See you next time. It's Ms. Rosado saying goodbye.